Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy, and today we're gonna be doing a little stretch, something to wake up that upper body. My shoulders have felt a little bit tight lately, um, so I, th I thought we'd do an upper body focus stretch. Okay, so let's start off with going into child's pose. And you really wanna reach your arms forward and press your butt back to get that nice spine stretch. You can even feel it in my shoulder blades. Now let's reach over to the left side of our mat. It's so pretty out here. I'm currently in Colorado. We're gonna reach over to the other side of our mat. I've been out here for a couple weeks. Yesterday I went um, white water rafting for the first time. That was pretty cool. Okay, now from child's pose, we're going to slowly lift up our hips and press our chest down into the ground. You're trying to get your armpits flushed against the mat. You really wanna arch your back. Try arching from your mid to upper back, not like totally in your lower back. Just a couple of deep breaths. Slide forward. I think to do some neck rolls. Did you hear that? I don't know if you could hear my neck pop, but it did. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna go into one of my favorite moves. So we're gonna have our arm out in kind of a square angle, straight out from our shoulder to our elbow. I'm gonna do it on this arm. Well, I'll do it on this one so you can see. So I'm gonna slide over to the side of the mat and I'm going to turn sideways and lifting this knee up. Also trying to reach that armpit to the mat again on the left side. Reaching this knee up to feel this deep stretch in my chest, my shoulder. If this feels too easy, you can straighten out this leg and you can even, if you wanna be crazy, take this knee and point it up towards the sky or the ceiling. Whew. This is quite a pretzel, quite a pretzel move. All right, let's slowly release lay back down onto our stomach. Now we're gonna do it the other side so that it's even. So square angle, armpit to the ground, opening up our body, opening up our chest and our knee aimed towards the sky. So if you did any progressions on the other side, let's go ahead and do it on this side. So we're gonna straighten out that leg. And if you were one of the crazy people that put that knee up towards the sky, you can go ahead and do that. It feels really good, really, really good. Keep breathing. Stretching has honestly saved me so much. It makes such a big difference for so many things, especially if you're like um, weight training or being athletic a lot. Stretching is a godsend. 
Okay, let's slowly roll back, come up. Now, you don't need to use a yoga block, but I'm just gonna put it here. Um, we're gonna sit on all fours and we're gonna reach our arm across. We're gonna follow our hand with our eyes and just reach and try to feel that deep stretch behind your shoulder blade or between your shoulder blades even. It should be on the same side that your arm is reaching out. You can come back up and then go down one more time. Amazing. Now we're gonna flip sides. I'm just gonna turn around so I can still see you. Just gonna stretch that. And come back one more time. Amazing. Okay, come back. Now we're gonna make sure that all of our notches and our spine are working properly and turning. So we're gonna start off on all fours once again. We're gonna take our hands behind our head, turn down, touch the floor with our elbow, and then we're gonna reach up and really twist. Just do a couple of these. Wake up that vertebrae. Great. Now we're going to flip onto the other side and touch the floor and then up. This side feels a little bit tighter for me. Last two. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a crazy move. We're gonna have our hands in a triangle shape behind our back. Let's start at the edge of the mat. And all we're gonna do is move our butt forward. Wait, sorry. We're gonna put our hands behind our back, our pinkies touching like so. And all we're gonna do is move forward. And if that feels easy, I'm a little bit flexible here. You can move forward even more until you're feeling that stretch. Whew. You can straighten your legs to really deepen that stretch. or keep them bent, whatever feels good for you in this moment. I'm just gonna stay here for a couple breaths. And now we're gonna slowly separate our hands and with each bit, we lower our back closer and closer to the ground until we're laying on the ground. Amazing. Okay, now I really wanna show you this next stretch that I discovered, which has been amazing for me. So a lot of times when I look up, I feel tightness in the back of my neck, um, probably from looking down at my phone uh, for so long. So this is a move that's gonna loosen up those muscles back there so that you feel like you have full range of motion of your neck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna aim our chin towards our collarbone, like so. And then we can put our hand and just kind of like play around with the movement 
until you can feel it the muscle that's holding onto your shoulder blade pulling really like focusing on chin to collarbone helps you feel that stretch okay and now let's do the other side so chin to the other collarbone and just lay your hand on top of your head just for the weight of the hand you don't really have to pull down Yeah, so you should be feeling this in this region right here. Okay, now lift your head up. Now look up. It's so much easier, isn't it? I don't feel it in my back at all now, or my back of my neck. Okay, let's just do a couple head circles to finish up. And next time you're at the bottom, let's reverse. Now try to keep your shoulders down while you're doing this. You don't want them raising up. Last one. Amazing. I hope your upper body is feeling more fluid now and stretched out, ready to take on the day. I know that upper back um, pain is a big thing, neck pain. So hopefully this helped to loosen you up a little bit and make you more ready to take on the day. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below, like and subscribe, and let me know what you wanna see next. Bye.